Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on uh, EFT automation. In this video, we will work more with the data sheets, uh, both you know, global and local. We will learn to export data uh, from this into a spreadsheet or import data from spreadsheet to into the data sheet and we'll play with a little bit of formatting and all that. In, in this particular script, uh, this is the same script uh, script that we saw in the other video. Um, the information is parameterized, meaning you know, the data. I have a user ID password uh, in the global sheet, and I have uh, you know five pieces of information uh, for making a reservation. Now, let's say um, I want to add more data. I can obviously do this if I want to and uh, make changes. I could do Mary here. I can do Denver here. I can I can definitely do that. But what if you already had a data, uh, some data in a spreadsheet you want to work with? So the way this works is first let's learn how to export data from here. I right click on it, File, Export Data. I'll say Exported. I'll call it exported data dot XLS X, give it a name, and that file appears here. Exported data. I'll open that. And what we see is uh, we see the data, and then we see, um, uh, you know, the sheets here. Every sheet within every data sheet within the UFT has been exported as a sheet within the Excel spreadsheet, and the names are same. Whatever names you have within your UFT, you have the same name here as a sheet. So what we can do is we can directly work with the data here. <coughs> I can take this. And drag this down. Now I have 20, 20 records. In the first record is just the header. That's a header here. Date, name, from city to city, and tickets. That's the first record, and the data starts from the record two. As I dragged and dropped here, and I just pull it, pulled it down, and the number got incremented. The same thing with the date. I don't want to do that with the date. I'll just keep it constant. And with the name Mary, I can you know change the names as I want. Um, so I'll just give some seven, six records there. So Paris, London, London to Paris. What are the other cities? Let me open the application real quick. Okay, I populated uh, the spreadsheet with some valid data. Let me go ahead and save it. Close the spreadsheet. And now what I'll do is I'll right click here, File, Import from File. And this says that the column headings in the imported table should match the parameter names in the test, meaning you know, because now the whole uh, information gets overwritten, meaning you know, all the you know, headings, everything will be gone because everything comes from the spreadsheet. So if there's any mismatch, then you'll have an issue. That's exactly what it's saying here. Say, okay, we'll just pick the data sheet that we work with, our spreadsheet that we work with, click open, and we have the data. So that's how you, you know, kind of import uh, an export. I mean, you can export the data, work within the spreadsheet, and then import the data in. Now, and just so you know that this actually works, so we have six tickets, 
let's go ahead and run it So this script, <coughs> we had uh, the imported data. We had six records in there within the data sheet. So this script should, script should run six times. I mean, not the whole script, but the action that makes a reservation should run six times. So you now Paris and Denver, different name, Mary. So next time it runs it, there should be a different name. I believe I had different names for every row. So London, Paris, better. So it's running, I'll just go ahead and you know start the script. So we looked at a couple of options there and you know when you work with the file it works with every sheet that you have, global and every local. But if you do sheet, you know it, now you're working at the sheet level just with the sheet. So you can export that specific you know import specific you know sheet into here or you can export specific sheet so you can you're working at the sheet level rather than the whole workbook level or at a very high level when high level and it's when I say workbook level meaning workbook includes every tab here when I say sheet it on it's only it only refers to the active sheet that you're working with and then you have edit which you have seen uh, you can you know globally you know replay stuff you can go to specific um, line here or specific board that you want to go to let's say you hit five to enter invalid cell reference go to uh, then to f f10 here then you do uh, Replace that you want to refine the uh, hood and then replace that to my car. Then do replace all, so it replaced the word there.